Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch with me, Gustav Miller, as your host. Today's whiskey is the Glenlivet Nadura Oloroso Matured. It is the third one in the short series that I'm doing on the Nadura range from the Glenlivet Distillery. The Glenlivet Distillery, founded in 1824, situated in Speyside in the Highland of Scotland. And it is owned by the Shivas Brothers, part of the Pernod Ricard group. Glenlivet, of course, means the valley or the glen through which the river Livet flows. And uh, the Najura range, Najura means natural, so it is straight from the cask, no coloring added, no chill filtration at cask strength. So as natural as possible, if we took cask strength in this one, the Oloroso matured is bottled at 60.7% ABV. It's very high. It's not as high as yesterday's uh, first fill, which I did, which was 62%. Oh, and there's a bit of information at the back here, some tasting notes. I'm going to just go through that. It's a small batch whiskey, so produced in small quantities. And this particular one was matured in first full Oloroso sherry casks. So the first full was matured in first full American ex bourbon casks. This one, first full Oloroso casks. The color bright gold, for me personally, it is more amber instead of bright gold on the nose a medley of dried fruit aromas raisins and apricots with gentle notes of cinnamon and licorice immediately already there you can hear the influence of the oloroso sherry casks on the palate smooth and creamy with the fruitiness of spicy orange marmalade hints of rich dark chocolate long and sweet leading to a slightly dry spicy Finish. Clean Livet Nadura. Amber. I think this is an amber color. Yes, the raisins and the sherry that pops up immediately. What is surprising though is I don't get any alcohol burn even though it's 60% ABV. I agree with the dried fruits, cinnamon, baking spices, stewed plums, mm, it's a wonderful nose, dark chocolate and nuts, but the sherry influence and the orange marmalade, that's quite a complex nose. A whole lot going on in this nose. Mm. Mm -hmm. And now you can feel the cask strength alcohol 60%. The tingling on your tongue, the sweetness of the sherry is immediately present. The slight bitterness of the dark chocolate notes immediately present. The orange marmalade, not a very bitter marmalade, a, a quite a sweet marmalade with just a hint of bitterness, baking spices. Mm. Very, very pleasant, very pleasant. Hmm. It is not overly sherried. A little bit of bitterness coming through now. This the finish is just lingering. There's a slight dryness from the sherry casks. But it's not an astringent dryness, it's just a hint of dryness 
the bitter chocolate and the sherry lingering and that citrusy marmalade. I think that is what this whiskey is all about for me, is that that chocolatiness and the, the marmalade and the sherry. That's it. In a nutshell, this, that's what this whiskey is about. With a little bit of water, while I put a few drops of water in here, the price is around 60 US dollars. Here in South Africa, a thousand rand, and in the UK, 45 pounds. So it's quite pricey for a no age statement. But then again, it's a cask strength whiskey. So maybe not that bad. And at the end of this series, I'm going to reveal which one is my favorite. This is so fantastic with a bit of water. There's suddenly a bit of dark caramel emerging with this sherry sweetness on the nose. Mm. Now there's a creaminess, a creamy sweet sherry. Wow. If you want to pair this with a food snack, then you can try a honey glazed barbecued pork rib. Or a chocolate covered raisin will work well, or fruit cake with that cinnamon and baking spices. But for today, I have chosen a beef sausage. Beef sausage that I've got there with a generous drop of sweet chili sauce. It's a barbecued beef sausage. And the sweet chili sauce there. So I am going to see if this works with this wonderful sherry, rich, complex whiskey. Mm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mm. It tones down the whiskey flavors, but it connects it. The chili sauce is the connection with the sheriness in this whiskey. It is an exciting, adventurous pairing. I would say a three and a half or a four out of out of five. Wonderful, it's an adventure. Thank you for watching. Remember to share this video with your friends and hope to see you again tomorrow when I'm going to do the last review on this Nadura range of whiskies from Glenlivet Slanger.